How's everyone doing today? My name is Zach Allen. I'm going to share the best drill I know for helping you hit the sweet spot time and time again. The biggest determining factor that I've found here is the distance your hands are from your right thigh when you get into the hitting area. The players that are hitting the toe, the heel, topping the ball, hitting it fat, their hands are farther away from them as they get down and approach impact. You notice the space here between the shaft and my right thigh. Okay, the players that are hitting the ball very consistently, the club gets in here very close to the right thigh, back on that original swing plane line, and that sweet spot collides right with the back of the golf ball every single time. So let me show you the best drill I know here. Take an old water bottle, empty, put it in your right pocket, and it's a great drill because you can actually hear, I can hear the sound of that water bottle as I come down into the hitting area, and I can also feel it. So I've got two things really working for me there that will give me some cues to whether my hands are close enough to my right thigh. So start off with a couple small practice swings with a short club. Hear and feel your hands colliding with that water bottle. And then actually start to hit balls with that same sensation. So I could both hear the sound of the contact of that ball, which was very solid, and I could also hear the sound of the water bottle right as I was making contact there. It's a great drill that will get your hands into a very good hitting position so you'll hit that sweet spot time and time again. So here we have a great example of this important trait in great ball strikers. We have Henrik Stenson here, you know, uh, the hottest player in the world right now, finished the, finished the season seventh in driving accuracy. I think he's more known for just, you know, how, how, how long he hits the ball and how solid he hits it. But a lot of it's because of that, that trait that we we're talking about. Notice how close his right forearm is to his right thigh. And even there hitting a, a middle iron there, he would still be hitting that water bottle in his pocket as tall as he is. You can see how, how low and how close his hands are to his body as he goes through the hitting area. Shaft returning right on plane, right down and through the shot. So the other example that Aaron Baddeley struggled, struggled mightily with his driver this season. He finished the season 169th in driving accuracy. And you see the opposite trait. When he gets into the hitting area there, his right forearm hands are very high and that shaft is well above that plane line. Uh, you'll see his irons are not near as much, but the driver is, is very high through the hitting area with those hands. So this is obviously something that affects your amateur golfers. Here's a student of mine that struggled shanking the ball. And you can see just coming down in the hitting area, the biggest issue with his in inconsistencies was just how much higher his hands and arms were as he got into the hitting area. Um, and all types of uh, different shots there. On the left here is a professional I teach who, very good ball striker, but does sometimes struggle with his uh, longer clubs and his driver accuracy. You'll see even in, in the pro ranks here, his hands and arms aren't quite close enough to his right thigh as he gets down into the hitting area. Now, while he's hitting this ball very far, it's not always as consistent as we'd like to see. One more student example of a very good high school player who was suffering from the shanks. Um, and while this doesn't look bad at all, he's very close here, but it doesn't take much to shank a ball, which he did here this one on the left, and, and from that position, it was a, a very uncomfortable, restricted follow-through. Uh, so he actually has that water bottle in his pocket as he's hitting here in his right pocket. You can see it there. You see the difference with his right form as he gets down into the hitting area. And you can see hands, shaft, right back on plane. Club seeking the sweet spot now, right? Not getting outside of the sweet spot. And then exiting much better as he goes on through that shot. 